Hey, how's it going, folks? It's Abdullah and Bean. And welcome back for another episode of Moments in Weed, our companion series to Great Moments in Weed History, in which we talk about current events in cannabis. Isn't that right, Bean? Yeah, and I am frosted today. I am glazed with rage. I am powdered up with an insatiable desire for vengeance. <laughs> oh, yeah? Okay, I'm sensing there is a theme to your rage. <laughs> Uh, and I'm extremely curious about the glazed and powdered anger, vitriol, that you're displaying. What could have possibly happened? What could have passed you on your news ticker that has upset you so, Bean? There is a hole in the center of my heart right now, my friend. And I have a baker's dozen complaints against a company that we all know, and I think a few of us, including myself, previously loved. And I know... This is going to hurt a lot of folks out there, but it's time to fucking boycott Krispy Kreme. What? Wait a minute. Okay, look, like any God-fearing stoner, I have a love for Krispy Kreme donuts, especially when they're fresh. If you've not had a fresh one and you don't know what it's all about, truly, it is one of the great delights of life, one of the best stoner snacks of my youth. And yet here you are telling me that uh, I can no longer pledge allegiance to the flag of Krispy Kreme, to the checkered red, green, and white of Krispy Kreme. Why so? Why? What have they done to offend cannabis? Well, first I want to acknowledge, you know, it's a shared love. I can remember uh, being a young stoner in the Lower East Side of Manhattan the first time somebody pointed out to me that sign, hot now that actually would tell you when the fresh donuts were coming down the donut line. I assumed there was a very I Love Lucy-esque scene where uh, overworked donut makers on the uh, conveyor belt are just shoving donuts into their uh, aprons and into their mouths trying to keep up with demand. (laughs) (laughs) But it turns out, and we're going to talk more about this, of course, at the turn, but crispy cream is 1k short of who they are they are anti-weed fucking company trying to stop legalization and they've got a dark dark nazi past to boot i had no idea about their dark past however bean i will reveal something to you in college and by the way i went to business school uh which is hilarious i think (laughs) Uh, and my final case study that i did as a senior was on a certain franchise in the United States known as Krispy Kreme. Holy donut. (laughs) Yeah, so I'm going to try to remember what I can. Uh, I definitely don't have the paper report that I did on this. But we talked a lot about the future of Krispy Kreme as it was projected back in 2006, I believe. And it was not a rosy future, so I'm just shocked that they're still around. But uh, let's uh, let's talk about the news. What's going on? Yeah, wow! You just throw you just threw a real crawler in the works here, <laughs> right in the spokes of our wheel. The ridgiest of the donuts. Yeah, well, we're gonna get to our glazy rage, but first we want to go the other direction, and of course, take a moment to say thank you so much to everyone who supports this program on Patreon. You can go to greatmomentsinweedhistory.com. You could put five on it. You could put a little more on it and get a copy of my book, How to Smoke Pot Properly. And of course, you can see the video version of this podcast if you support us on Patreon. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much to everybody who supports us on Patreon. You truly allow us to make this show the way that we want to make it, and we salute you for it. And if you don't support us on Patreon, please go to greatmomentsinweedhistory.com. Check us out. See all the fun bonuses you'll get for supporting us, for being a patron. And, of course, if you don't have the ducats right now but you still love the show, please help us out by telling your friends about it. We're throttled and shadow banned on pretty much every social media platform. So every little bit of word of mouth helps us out. Thanks so much. And again, these are non-consensual throttlings. Nothing against the uh, (laughs) throttle community out there, but we do not consent to this. 
And another wonderful way that you can support this program, if you happen to live near Portland, Oregon, or you got more money than good sense and you want to hop on a plane just to see us yuck it up, you can come to the Helium Comedy Club in Portland on September 10th. We're going to put on a live show of great moments in weed history. Portland, of course, is a town known not only for its weed, but for its excellent donuts and its stringent opposition to fascism so it's a great place to come out and get high on history with us fuck yeah we'll see you there portland september 10th at the helium comedy club in portland it's going to be a brand new story and if you've ever seen us live before you know how fucking wild it's gonna get we're live on stage you know what i'm saying it's totally uh, anything can happen you know what i mean so anyway come through get high with us And we'll hang out in Portland. Speaking of getting high in the Northwest, if you happen to be a little bit north of Portland in Seattle, pretty soon you are going to be able to get yourself a pack of great moments in weed history pre-rolls. Bean, tell the people what is about to happen. Oh, I'm going to show some of the people because everybody watching on Patreon, our supporters, can see us holding up. These are hot off the presses. I mean, it's very, I'm, you know, barely able to hold on to this pack. That's how hot it is. Of our great moments in weed history pre rolls, I'm opening the box or pulling one out. And, you know, we're not even going to post pictures of these online for like another month until they reach dispensary shelves. But we wanted you, our listeners, to be the first to know. And we want our Patreon supporters to be the first to see. I'm, 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 I'm so, so, so angry at Krispy Kreme. I think the only thing to do is spark one of these delicious joints from our very own pre-roll packs up. Bring it down a sec. And then we can get into uh, this boycott that we are going to lead and put Krispy Kreme in the ashtray of history where they belong. Heck yeah, man. There you go. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's talk about these fuckers at Krispy Kreme. Let's do it. This is all centered around a group called the Community Anti-Drug Coalition's of America. CADCA. What an attractive acronym. Yeah. uh, Weed clearly helps you come up with better acronyms. (laughs) Well, yeah, I know. Normal? I mean, dude, that's fucking brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. Um, So this group is just one of many, many anti-weed, anti-drug, pro-drug war, pro-locking people in cages for smoking weed groups. This one goes back to 1992, and they say, oh, you know, our mission is to strengthen the capacity of community coalitions to create and maintain safe, healthy, and drug-free communities globally. Yeah, so that's just, like, basically drug war fodder that's translated for the community level right that they're like it's all this lofty like oh yeah this is for the betterment of everyone and blah 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 and a drug free future (laughs) uh it's you know of course like the future they're talking about is only free of the good drugs it still has all the shitty (laughs) so i think that's pretty fucking disingenuous but all right so these guys are a bunch of fucking assholes how the hell did Krispy Kreme get involved? Voluntarily. That's the only thing I know. You know, no one is forced to join these groups. Nobody is forced to put their money towards this. And, you know, <laughs> the issue came to a head recently because this group, Kodka, is actively lobbying to block the federal cannabis legalization bills that are moving through Congress right now, something we've been talking about over the last six months on this program. Yeah, and what an incredible waste of time, honestly, because the trend is only going in one direction. You know what I mean? I feel like contributing money to anti-legalization efforts is wasted money. And I'm not saying that as a cannabis liberalization advocate. I'm saying that as an observer of reality. We often talk about sort of the obvious opposition to legalization, which is the fucking cops, which is the prison industrial complex and the pharmaceutical industry. But what possible world is Krispy Kreme thinking to themselves, you know what's going to benefit us 
a company that sells really bad for you donuts <laughs> getting rid of weed i know that's <laughs> the dumbest fucking thing ever seriously you gotta know your audience a little bit you know what i mean it's like dude you gotta know who it is that's coming in and eating your fucking product but now here's an interesting question let's say there's two main constituencies for donuts in our society uh, one is stoners what's the other ah the fucking police of course and every dollar that goes to continuing the drug war continues the potential for any police officer to get overtime you know what i mean by arresting stoners on the fucking street so i see how this machine works the other way i don't know how i was sitting here you know claiming full ownership of uh donuts by stoners when clearly in popular culture there's a very very oppositional group that already possesses donuts our friends over at marijuana moment incredible journalism website started to dig into well who is supporting this who are the donors and they found as you might expect big pharma companies who don't want to compete against weed as a medicine drug treatment companies that want to make money off of stoners who are forced to go to rehab for smoking weed even though it is far less harmful than alcohol pharmaceutical drugs and a lot of other things you might get into religious groups who don't want you to get high and have a direct experience of the divine they would rather middleman that to you a bunch of big banks some law firms and here's how we know this is a big big tell as soon as marijuana moment big shout out to their reporting started to publicize who is behind this group who's lobbying to stop legalization and put up the donor list online that's when cadca took the donor list off oh really okay so so basically they're masking where their money comes from that that speaks really really well for a lobby organization <laughs> uh where where they want to hide where they're actually the actual incomes there because it also you know it says something about those actual donors as well uh so that's that's super fucked up but i guess you know uh you you swim in shit you're gonna smell like shit <laughs> <laughs> it rhymes in the original french i think or merde uh so the other thing is it shows that they're scared it shows that they understand that the tens and hundreds of millions of cannabis consumers in this country and around the world have real buying power. And if you piss us off and we stop buying your donuts, that's going to show up in your bottom line. And that is why we, as great moments in we history, are saying to you, listen, if you already bought that donut from Krispy Kreme and it's just sitting on the counter while you're listening to this, eat it. It's too late. They got your money. But no new Krispy Kreme donuts from here on out or until they make reparations to our community. Damn straight. Yeah. Get get yourselves out of this lobbying group. Put money towards legalization. Maybe free 420 donut giveaway in selected cities for a couple of months. Mm -hmm. Sponsorship of great bumps. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? We don't want your dirty drug war money, Krispy Kreme. What we want you to do is feel the effects of the 80-20 rule. That's right. 20% of the stoners buy 80% of the stoners. <laughs> All right. And uh, you're going to feel it because our army of stoners is going to jump into passive action by not buying donuts from you. And, uh, you know, what the fuck are you going to do about it? You need to disband CADCA and uh, you have to release a limited edition weed infused donut all right we're, we're, while we wait to hear from their attorneys uh yep. Yep. one way or the other uh speaking of dirty money i just want to highlight a couple other things it's not just about weed back in 2009 the wall street journal wrote about how the sec uh which is like the dea except they just let you get away with crime uh <laughs> because you're rich. They investigated Krispy Kreme. They found that they were inflating their profits on purpose. Three former executives were charged. They were fined $600,000 for basically committing this kind of fraud. Uh, but of course, 
nobody went to jail. It's not as big of a crime to inflate your profits fraudulently as it is to smoke a joint. And as we mentioned, if you go a little further back, this is from a CNN report. I'm just going to read it. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The family that owns well-known consumer brands, including Krispy Kreme Donuts, say their Nazi ancestors used slave labor during World War II and that they were anti-Semites and avowed supporters of Adolf Hitler. Wow, baggage. Yeah. The Ryman family, uh, which is reportedly one of the richest families in Germany, uh, said they would donate $11 million to an as-yet-undisclosed charity. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's fucking sketchy as fuck. Uh, yes. That's what we're saying. We probably <laughs> shouldn't fucking support uh, this company because uh, I'm pretty sure that in trying to, like, band-aid this whole situation, they just donated money to CADCA, uh, <laughs> which is fucked up. You know what I mean? It's uh, just adding insult to injury. Fuck Krispy Kreme. I want to make one other point, which is like, what you sell, Krispy Kreme, is demonstrably more harmful to the public than weed, which is actually good for you. Yeah, I know. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, that the history of the demand for sugar in the Western world is like one of the most damaging catalysts of like the fucking what do they call it the unholy triangle the dark triangle where it was like you know they are like shipping slaves to the west indies to harvest sugarcane i went to the african-american history museum in dc like when it first opened and you realize going through it that how much the cultivation of sugar and the demand for sugar fueled the slave trade. It's absolutely fucking appalling. And of course, there's all the ill health effects that have come about because of mass sugar consumption. So if you want to look at history and all the factors that have come into play because sugar is an accepted drug of choice for people of all ages, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, just to put a fine point on it, sugar is a huge factor in developing cancer and diabetes, two conditions that cannabis is shown to effectively and safely treat. So it's like, get the fuck out of here with this donut bullshit. This is also that, you know, in life, in the world, I always say, you know, when it comes to boycotts, you have to be conscious and aware of the fact that as Americans, you know, we contribute to destruction all over the world of all kinds you know just by paying our taxes every day right no matter who you are you can trace you know your actions and your money to probably bad things like you know using amazon is not good like a lot of people use amazon i use amazon prime right even though i know uh that you know it's a uh, it's a shitty thing to contribute to but it's better to be somewhat conscious, somewhat aware. You know, it's like no one's asking you to stop living your life, right? But finding out something as direct as Krispy Kreme contributing to an organization like CADCA, I mean, look, it's a small modification to make in your life. So fuck Krispy Kreme. And this actually brings me to my senior project, my analysis of Krispy Kreme's long-term business plan uh, at the time, Krispy Kreme had been closing stores at like a rapid pace. And my prediction was that they would not exist anymore come 2020. And here we are. Krispy Kreme is still around. But you can make my college prediction uh, all the more true by lending your passive action to boycotting Krispy Kreme in the name of cannabis freedom for all yes absolutely and the best 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 news is you could take those same donut dollars dollars to donuts as we like to say in new jersey for some reason and you can go find non-corporate stoner friendly people to make you delicious donuts many of the donuts in the world uh come from immigrant communities who are getting that first toehold in business ownership and that's a great place to support you can support local bakers who have a, a old school bakery near where you live and they're gonna make much much better donuts and of course we want to give a shout out to portland's own voodoo donuts who really uh kicked off the stoner donut trend in the u.s 
Yeah, that's right. Uh, we've been to Voodoo Donuts, and it really is a decadent house of, uh, what do you call them? Uh, Donuts? Confections. <laughs> <laughs> Donor moment. But yeah, man, fucking Voodoo Donuts. If you're in Portland, go support Voodoo Donuts. If you're in Brooklyn, go support Dough Donuts, man. Uh, and uh, if you're in LA, go support Kettle Glazed Donuts. There's great places to get donuts that are not Krispy Kreme. Uh, so yeah, do it for the fucking cause, man. And we'll see you in Portland September 10th, people. Helium Comedy Club. Grab your tickets right now. Yeah, maybe we'll have time to grab a, a, a couple dozen of their maple blazer donuts that are in the shape of a blunt to uh, get everybody high on weed, history, and sugar with us. Maybe they'll want to kick down some. And maybe you, dear listener, will want to post online on your social media and tell us where the great stoner donuts where you live come from please tag great moments in weed history when you do mention hashtag boycott krispy kreme and let's show everybody where to get righteous delicious sugary nazi free pro weed donuts in this country and then we can all enjoy ourselves without funding our own oppression damn straight well good shit thanks so much for the story bean that was very very enlightening and thanks so much for hanging out with us for this edition of Moments in Weed. We'll see you next weed on Weedness Day with another episode. Day with another episode. Day with another episode.